So I'm going to do a little project and I'm going to be using items that I have been sent from Arteza. They asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their uh, some of their items and it was for me I kind of told them what I did and said I would review things that I would work with generally. So they sent me a list of things they thought I might like. And from the list, I selected a few things that I can um, use. I did only ask for three colour um, acrylics, but they've sent me this amazing box um, of acrylics. And um, I also hoped to do some eco printing. So I said watercolour paper would be amazing. Um, but the watercolour paper at the time was out of stock. So they've sent these gorgeous books, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these as yet, but we will do something with them. I just don't want to take these apart to use the paper. Um, so that's the acrylics. We'll open everything shortly. This is sketch paper, sketchbook paper, which um, I'm hoping is going to be perfect for pages for journals and we'll see how that tea dies. And because I often use fabric on my covers or for my covers, um, they've sent this amazing cutting mat and um, a ruler. Um, so I just thought we could open them up and see what the products are like. So this mat, it's a self-healing mat. It's two-sided, three millimetres thick, eco-friendly. Um, the only thing that does concern me is it says avoid repeatedly cutting in the same spot um, to avoid deep cuts or sharp angles. Now, um, I'm going to use my rotary cutter probably on this because it's what I usually do, but I think what you'd have to do is kind of move your fabric along each time you use it. Ooh, random piece of uh, fabric there. Um, so it's grey on one side and white on the other. So if I can find an area to open. Okay, it feels, it feels lovely. It does feel quite nice. It's got a semi kind of smooth surface. It's not completely smooth, um, but actually the underside feels the same. So they're both the same. Um, it looks slightly bigger than three millimetres to me, but you know, they're saying it's three millimetres. So it feels, feels thick enough. Now, obviously I'm not going to use this right this minute because we're going to use these things to make to use for our project. Um, so let's have a look at the ruler. Um, the only thing that would concern me is there's no metal edge for using um, a cutting blade or a rotary cutter. However, this is for quilting. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether you would be expected to use um, a cutter or whether this is just for using your... Um, Kind of upholstery pencil or whatever it is you use when you're quilting to, to kind of mark the fabric you wouldn't use this necessarily to cut i'm not sure um but because i obviously cut fabric for covers you know they this was on the list of things they thought that i might like so okay. um, so you kind of need a decent sized work area to use these but they do feel like very nice quality products i'm just going to pop those there okay so let's have a look at the acrylics next now, um, I tend to use dark covers on the edges of journals and um, book covers. So I asked for um, three acrylic paints, but you know, they said they send me the box. So there are 14 premium colors in here. Fab, look at those. So there are 120 mil, which is 4.6 US fluid ounces. There's quite, quite a variety of colours, I think, from the, the website. So obviously um, the Mars Black is certainly a colour I would use. Also the Yellow Ochre and the Burnt Sienna. You know, those are colours um, that I would certainly use and the Burnt Umber. Um, now, I, oh, there's nice gold. Um, I do plan on using the acrylic on a book cover. 
and the I can kind of compare it to the paint that I currently use so we can see how how that how that compares to the I usually use Reeves it's a kind of middle of the range it's not the cheapest paint in the world but it is does give you pretty good coverage when you're using um, a book cover so and I usually only have to do one coat so we'll see how the Arteza paint um, manages to, to cover a book okay so this is the sketch paper um, it's acid free heavyweight spiral bound and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the spirals out and we're going to tea dye this paper so the sketch paper um, it's 68 pounds or 100 gm it's a4 um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the spiral and I'm going to tea dye this and we can see how it comes out but it's a perfect thickness for journals it's slightly thicker than a copy of paper but it's not as thick as a cartridge paper um, so it is very nice it feels lovely it feels like it would be perfect for writing on and obviously you would be able to use a pencil if you were not going to tea stain this yeah that's really cool I think this is going to work really well for, for the journal we're going to make um, and this is the watercolour. Okay, I'm just going to put one aside. Um, let's have a look. So if you were looking to purchase this um, to use as a watercolour book, um, it's cold press, acid free, um, and this is a natural linen bound perfect obviously for uh, watercolors and mixed media so um, it's got a little if lost um, thing there okay so you've got the rougher side and a slightly smoother side there are I think they're bound in twos I mean it is absolutely beautiful paper um, I'm certainly not going to take this book apart to eco dye, um, but what I was thinking is, if you were um, a planner, um, a planner as in a planning person, who likes to um, use watercolours in your planners, this is this would make an absolutely cracking planner. Um, so maybe we'll do something very similar to um, what I did with the the clever fox planner and we could decorate this and you, We could turn this into a bullet journal. Maybe I'm not sure I'll have to have a little think um, but these are Very very nice books very nice books indeed Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take one of these apart and um, we will tea stain the paper so I'm going to show you how I'm going to take these apart um, I do this quite often with the spiral bound books um, usually it's the front or the back cover it's more often than not the back cover so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the wires slightly about the same um, I'm, I'm pulling them apart about the same all the way up And once you kind of that one's a little bit further out but once you get into a rhythm it's very easy to pull these apart and then we're just going to fold that in half and I'm just going to wind the whole spiral out of the book and as you can see that comes off very easily Okay, so now you have um, a book cover if you'd like to make your journal from the book cover. This would also make a decent cover, it's fairly thick, so you could certainly make a journal out of the cover. And this is the loose pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tea stain some of this and then I will be back to show you how that looks. So I'm back with some of the tea stained Arteza paper. So obviously this was um, the paper beforehand. 
and this is the paper after it has it seems to have taken it um well it's taken the tea very very well i'm not sure if it's how the tea was made um but it seems to be a lot more yellow than the copier paper on the screen it's not as yellow as this um in real life but it is slightly more yellow than usual um i think it's probably because i use a an ivory paper um quite often and this is this is white so um yeah it's it's taken the tea extremely well and it feels absolutely amazing it does feel much much nicer than the than the straightforward copier paper um but it feels much more usable than the cartridge paper that i often use that one's nice and dark so we now have some tea stained paper which we will use to make um our journal uh so i would i would certainly recommend the sketch paper i would certainly recommend this um for journal making and obviously we've still got to fold it and sew it but um this is the paper if you're interested now obviously there will be uh links in the description box uh there will be a discount code also and i also have all of the products i use listed on my website so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the book cover that I've gutted and we will paint it and see how the paint takes. Okay, so um, I have my two gutted book covers that I'm going to use to make these journals. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop those aside and I'm going to show you the paper pad um, that I'm going to be using uh, to make these two journals. It's a Hackney & Company uh, paper pad. Uh, well Flam Meadow Premium Collection is the one I'm using and there is a link to this obviously on my website if you're interested. So this is the first paper that I'm going to be doing and there's a kind of slightly um, deep yellow colour in the moth swings or the the bee. I'm not quite sure what this insect is. So I have mixed this for this particular cover and I used the yellow ochre, uh, the titanium white, I used a very small amount of the lemon yellow and I also used a tiny amount of the burnt sienna to kind of match the colour of those wings and the other the other journal I'm going to be using this for the cover I just thought it was so cute and it's going to kind of have a little woodland theme to it so this is the paint that I have mixed for this cover and what I used was mainly the burnt umber and white I also used a very small amount of the burnt sienna so that is what I did to mix the colors now what I'm gonna do is I will speed the video up um, I might not paint all of the covers in in the video but um, to show you kind of roughly what I do I'm just gonna paint them I'll move it aside and then when it's dry we'll come back and we'll move on to more of the project Um, I will be back with a second episode where we will actually put the cover together and then put the signatures together using the Arteza sketch paper that I've tea dyed. So thank you for joining me. I know we haven't actually finished a project, but hopefully this is something we can work on from start to finish. What I am going to do is the spine will be covered with a fabric. Now, I'm going to use the cutting mat and the ruler to, to cut the fabric for the spine and we will work on some elements for the inside of the journal. 
so thanks again for joining me i know it's been so long um i will see you all again very soon